guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a look using the Tati Beauty palette. I have been dying to get back into this ever since my first video. The shame about live swatching videos is like oftentimes, especially with bigger palettes, I can't also do a tutorial in the video because it's just, the, they're the longest videos. They're so hard to do and my eyes are always dying in them. So <laughs> I've been wanting to get back into this desperately. Also, my friend Jackie recently made a recommendation to me on a look to do. She said you have to use the Stila Glitter and glow in the shade rose gold this little liquid eyeshadow and she said while it's still wet put story glitter on top of it so I want to try that today it was so funny she was like you have to try this look and I was like well I don't own the Stila so I was like okay I'll just buy it and I'll do it and then she was like wait no what if you don't like it <laughs> it was really funny anyway so that's what we're doing today y'all how you been how's your hammers hanging let's first go into the shade soothe as a nice little transition who else is just like out of their minds excited to see what palette Tati will do next? I'm telling you, I am on pins and needles to see volume two, if that's how she's gonna be doing it. I am so stoked. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. So I'm taking this with my Sigma E35 brush and I'm working that through the crease as our transition shade. This is a lot warmer on the eyes than it looks in the palette, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but when you actually get it on the eyes, it always looks a little more orangey to me. You guys just saw this palette in my, if I could only have 10 eyeshadow palettes tag video. So I was like, I need to use that again. Oh, the shadows are just so pretty, so easy to work with. One color I'm kind of avoiding in this palette, I don't know why. It just, it scares me to do orange eyeshadow, it just does. So I'm gonna go into Story, the matte formula, with my Sigma E25 brush. Actually, I think I took way too much because I wanna kind of be able to control the color somewhat. I actually wanna use this on the inner half of the eye right here. I'm just trying to mix it up, so maybe if we pop pop this in here, that could be kind of cool. I don't know, now I'm nervous. I wish I didn't do it. Oh my God, I hope it works out. But I did want to do a little element of the orange, specifically because we're going to be using the Story Glitter. Those tones obviously are good together. They're in the same color family. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And I'll just bring it about halfway across the eyelid, just like that. I don't want to go too bold. So fiery. Now I'm like, should I really go for it and add some more interesting color or is it going to be a nightmare? Let's just break it do it. I'm nervous. I'm gonna go into the shade Poet. Oh my god, y'all. This might be a huge mistake. We'll see. I'm just craving color. I've done a lot of neutral looks lately. Just with all the holiday looks I've been doing, I've been, you know, kind of keeping the eyes more neutral and doing the bright red lips and my soul is like, Shay, girl, what are you doing? Where's that color? So I'm gonna add Poet, the matte formula, to this outer corner and tie it into the orange and we'll see if <laughs> this was a big mistake or not. I don't know. How are you guys liking your Tati Beauty palettes? Let me know. Did I see she's moving back to Seattle? Good for her. I think that's gonna be amazing for her. I think she needs to. I don't know how any influencers live in LA. I don't know how anyone lives in LA. It's just so not my lifestyle. I feel like anytime I go to an influencer event, they're always like, so when are you moving to LA? <laughs> and I'm like, never. <laughs> I'm a Jersey girl for life. I'm an East Coast girl for life. I can't, I can't do it. I'm taking a little more of that orange. I don't want it getting too lost. So I wanna bring that back over. Look how vibrant. I'm still nervous. Now let's simmer this down a bit with some matte ritual smoky brown goodness. Smoking that right in the crease. This is my E42 brush from Sigma. You know I need my smoky smoky, especially if you're gonna be doing a glitter eye. Not all the time, but most times I do like to have a smokier line here so there's some contrast between the glitter and the crease. It just kind of makes it all pop more and it looks more purposeful. It doesn't look like you just like, you know, poured pink and orange eyeshadow all over your eye and then smacked a glitter on it. You need a little more structure sometimes. Just like so I think is perfect. I don't want to make it too 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 dark. I'm not using the black shadow if you can believe it. That's kind of like a Shea 101. I always use the black shadow and today I'm not. I'm just going to take the brush we used uh, with the shade Poet and run that over so it blends together a little better and kind of get that pink popping out above that brown. And I'm doing the same with Story, the orange color. Just don't want it to get lost. And then I want to take Aura, which is just the creamy matte color for our brow bone. Pop that right up there. It 
It has such a nice pinky beigey tone to it. Super bright. Wow, I'm gonna have to blend that out. And then just taking my blending brush from the beginning, the first shadow we used, which was Soothe, and just running all that together. So it's a little more seamless. This is fun, isn't it? I'm glad we used more color. I'm glad I went with my gut. Originally, I was just gonna do all neutrals and I was like, no, I need a break from the neutrals. So now we're gonna take my friend Jackie's recommendation, the Stila Glitter and Glow Rose Gold Eyeshadow, and we're gonna top it with Story Glitter, this fiery one here, meow. She said to do it while it's still wet. So I wanna be super ready, super prepared. I have my brush for my glitter. Can you believe I've actually never used these Stila shadows? Which is crazy, cause they're, it's like so me. Oh, this is pretty. Oh wow, it's so opaque. I put a little too much on right away because I didn't know how opaque it was gonna be. Oh my god, this is beautiful. If nothing else, I'm glad she said she liked this so that I bought it. I'll use this all the time. Okay, well, it's still wet. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me take that glitter. Should I use a brush or should I use my finger? Let me start with a brush. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm gonna get in there with my finger. Oh, this is so pretty, Jax. You did not steer me wrong, girl. Oh yes, I love it. I love this eye makeup. This is beautiful. And I do love the way that Stila kind of made the glitter pop. Beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. I'm glad I got that. I'm gonna use that a lot, actually. My birthday's next week. That might be a nice little birthday eyelid color. I love it. Okay, let me do the same thing to the other eye and we will move on. So I wanna keep the waterline bright. I'm gonna use my Sigma Final Touch Inner Rim Brightener. I need a smaller mirror. I love the giant Tati mirror, but it does get heavy. <laughs> After you've done like your whole eye look with it, you're like, woo. So I'm just going to tight line with this. Keep it light and bright down here. What is on my chin? Makeup on my chin, what is that? I don't know, that was really weird. I don't know what the hell that was. Anyway, probably eyeshadow. I wanna take Ritual on my lower lash line, but I'm going to also mix it with Poet. Let's do Ritual first. I don't want the Poet shade to be too loud. So if we start with this nice brown base, it should keep it kind of toned down. Maybe we'll just do Ritual on the outer half. So like, yeah, to right there. And then on the inner half, we'll take some of that Ritual shadow for a little pop of color. Ooh, fun. I love that. It's just so fun and different for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw on some mascara and oh, I should probably do false lashes. It just belongs with this eye makeup. And yeah, we'll do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so eyelashes are on not very well. I hate putting eyelashes on top of glitter. This is probably the worst lash application I've ever done. I hate them. I hate lashes. <laughs> I'm wearing the Kiss 01 lashes. And then I just took a little black liner, liquid liner, and lined on top to kind of try and hide the band. So that looks like crap. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate them so much, I hate false lashes. For the cheeks, I don't wanna do anything too crazy. Wanna keep it light. I'm gonna take Pinkin' from the Sigma Beauty Blush Palette just to get a little pop of color over there. I already have bronzer on from this morning. I'm wearing, uh, what am I wearing? I'm wearing the Coconut Beach Bronzer by ColourPop and just doing a very light coating of that blush. Then for lips, I'm gonna use ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Souffle. I thought it would tie in nicely with the eyes. Keep a, I mean, it's still bright, but. Woo! <laughs> that is a bright lip, y'all. And that is it for this look, you guys. What do you think? Other than the fact that I hate how I applied my eyelashes today, and I think that's kind of throwing me off, I love everything else. <laughs> I think the eyeshadow is so beautiful. I really do love the Tati glitter paired with the Stila glitter and glow cream shadow or liquid shadow. So huge thank you to my friend Jackie for recommending this. I'm excited by this. I'm gonna use that a lot more often. And it felt so good to get back into color because I've been so neutral lately. I wanna film either a blue or a green look tomorrow. I need some like life. It's getting so drab and wintry and like dark out and like ugh, I need more colors. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I love you all so much and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.